Hello, and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, on-site training, and contracting. This episode relates back to a Twitter poll quiz that I did about references to pointers, and I just thought that I would run through what the possibilities are and just do a little episode here about references to pointers. Now, I might get around to pointers to references at the end of the video. We'll see where we get. Let's just create a couple of values here. So we have our obviously unused variables. If I were to create a reference to i, now i and i ref refer to the same thing. If I return i, I'm going to see that 5 is moved into register 0 here, and we get 5 returned for main. If I return i ref, then we get 5 returned for main. If I modify i ref, then I'm going to see 11 returned for main into r0 here. So, pretty straightforward for references. Now, a pointer. So if I return the dereference of the pointer, I am returning 11 here because that was the last value of i, but I can change this pointer so I can say this equals the memory address at uh, for the variable j, and now I'm getting a 10 returned for main. So that is our references and our pointers. But we can also make references to pointers. As you can see here, I have the declaration backward, so this says a pointer to a reference, and that's just not going to let us do that, because you can't really have a pointer to a reference. It's actually kind of meaningless. If I do it this way, where I have a reference to a pointer, then I actually need to assign a pointer to it. So I will assign this with PTR here. And we're returning 10, and that's not really surprising because j was last equal to 10, and here we have i, and then we reassign that pointer to j, and well, okay. So it gets a little bit confusing. Let's go ahead and remove some of these declarations a little bit. Pointer is equal to i here, and we have a reference to it here. Now, if we wanted to, we could do this. We could say this pointer ref equals the memory address at j. And by doing this, we're now returning 10 from here because we have taken the address of this variable j, assigned it to this pointer reference, which is currently a reference to the memory, to the pointer that points to this thing, which is PTR. And so we have changed that for BTR from pointing to I to pointing to J. So that's definitely complicated. And honestly, I would say if you're doing code like this, you should probably stop. But it does exist. Now, the question that we might have next is where can we put const in this? And the compiler will kind of show us along the way. We have a declaration of reference variable requires an initializer. So this like, it's just meaningless to put it here. If we put it here, then we'll get a const qualifier may not be applied to a reference, okay? If we put it here, then the question that we have to ask ourselves is, do we have a pointer, a const pointer to a reference or a pointer to a const value? basically. So we want to know, can we reassign this value and in what ways can we reassign it? So if I try to put this code back in here, it says I cannot assign a variable pointer ref with const qualified type, blah, blah, blah. So it's const. I cannot reassign what it points to. However, I should be able to actually change the underlying value, which I can. So it is the pointer itself that is const, not the value that it refers to. So I can change this, and now this thing, ptr, is pointing to the value 124. And in fact, if I have done this correctly, then I should be able to return i, 
and still get 124 return for main, and I have here. So that's just about the most complicated way you could possibly change a value. So continuing on, if we take the const and now move it here, non-const l value reference to type constant cannot bind to a value of unrelated type int pointer. So if I wanted to do this, I effectively have to make this pointer to const. So this is all very difficult, actually, to keep track of. Like I said a minute ago, if you're doing this, stop doing it. But with this particular construct, we still want to ask ourselves what part of it is const. So I tried changing the underlying value. Here I can't. The thing that is actually being pointed to is const in this case. I can, or should, however, be able to actually change the thing that I am pointing to. And let's see if we can. There we go. So this assignment works because I have changed the pointer, not the value. That's effectively what we're doing here. And of course, if you wanted to keep things nice and complicated, you can make both the underlying value and the pointer const and have a reference to it. And this compiles. We can't change any aspect of it. So there you go. Super annoyingly complicated kinds of things that can be done in C++. And for bonus points, of course, there is the West const option here, where we can have const on the left-hand side. And we can kind of put it on both sides because this is now a duplicate const declaration. So if you really wanted to make sure that it was very, very const, you could do that. But that's a joke. This really doesn't have any extra meaning. But what we can do now is take this declaration and put it in the cdecl.org website. So if I paste this here, this says, well, this isn't very good at deducing all of the consts that we've put in. Let's go ahead and remove some. But we can say declare pointer ref as a reference to a const pointer to const int. So that makes it really that much easier to actually kind of read here. And I like how this says C gibberish to English. It doesn't work just with C declarations. It works with most C++ declarations as well. And you can see it also has the ability to go in both directions. If I wanted to tell it, hey, I would like to declare a pointer ref as reference to const pointer to const int, it will actually make it uh, the inverse for us here. And notice, interestingly, it put the const on the left side. But there you go. So that is my little rundown of references to pointers and how it can get kind of complicated and out of hand. And I hope that this uh, episode made at least some sense. Thanks for watching.